Hey guys, welcome back to more Persona 5. And in this episode, we're going to continue our search for a new target. As well as just, well, live our normal high school life. And you know what? What's more normal than calling your teacher slash maid over to your house to clean up? Hey Kawakami, we're going to spend the night with you, if that's okay. And you know, I've been hearing Shibuya's getting more dangerous lately. I'm sure you pass by that area on your commute to school. But don't take too many detours, okay? And as long as you request me, I'll do your housework, alright. I mean, that's sort of your job, Kawakami, just say. Yeah, she takes a lot of our yen. Think about it. this, this is 45 bucks just to call her to partially clean our room. That kind of bugs me. Okay, I'll drop off on the store then. Please clean up your room, wait for me. <sighs> like, that just bugs me. Like, when you call a maid, they usually do everything for you. Uh, just, I don't know why. I'm not really into the whole Moe maid thing. Honestly, I think she's a little better looking in her normal outfit. Just throwing that out there. Why am I commenting on how hot I teach is? Anyways, tangent aside, it's back to what the public thinks of the Fan of Thieves, and you're watching the broadcast. So the Fan of Thieves were the bad guys. No! Don't be dumb, and I guess now you mention it. Thought the way the whole time. It's just brainwashing, isn't it? It's really self-centered. I mean, yeah, but what else we're gonna do in that situation? The teachers wouldn't do anything. Like, just Kamoshida. No one even knew about Madarame's like abuse. Like, sure, it's brainwashing, but I don't know if it's just. I'm kind of doubting it myself now. But did you catch any of that student detective on the TV yesterday? <laughs> what the heck? Phantom Thieves are super lame! That was the funniest thing I've ever heard of this game, and I think anyone seriously suggests supernatural stuff. That child is a phony. There's simply no way the Phantom Thieves could exist. Unfortunately, my precious children are all they think are real, and worse is that detective is amazing. Children are far too impressionable to see such vulgar content on TV. Looks like people still don't think we're real. When they will one day, when we change the heart of the mascot I'm so of TV bummed. Tokyo. I mean, I'd do something. He's a celebrity, but he didn't do anything wrong, and I can't believe I catch was on TV. Oh my God, so it was a Jen got you. I can't believe a high schooler moonlights as a detective. He's just like Detective Prince, and he's smart and handsome, and oh, he's almost too perfect. No, he is too perfect, and. He had a front row seats. I could practically reach out and touch a Ketchikun. I was so nervous. He was really working that uniform. Mm-hmm, girl. Without seeing like a snob, he's a natural. I hear he's an orphan who grew up poor. This part makes him so amazing. Yeah, he wants his last high school memory to be capturing the Phantom Thieves. It isn't just a game to him. Yes. Oh, crud. See, I hear his dad's the head of some big financial conglomerate. I thought just said he was an orphan. I will say, I love that he hates the media. It makes me really if he doesn't want to do this for the fame. Probably still, though. We don't really know him that well. People say he's so good that he's made enemies in the police force. Oh, yeah. Apparently, yesterday, the interview was so popular, they're going to air it again. That is actually impressive. They do not do that very often in Japanese media. Heck, they don't even do that in Western media. The dump, I catch you. didn't know you're so popular. And I've been seeing a lot of shows on TV lately about the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Why someone would steal something like a heart, which can't be turned into money, is beyond me. Well, we have our reasons. If I were a Phantom Thief, I wouldn't go after hearts or works of art. i go after gold. The value of gold has been high since ancient times, and there's never been a more stable resource. Uh, you're missing the whole point. We're Phantom Thieves of heart. We can't steal gold. And Can you imagine how much gold has been excavated by humanity over the course of history? That is a very specific question, but the answer is three Olympic-sized pools. Yeah, it's not as much as you may think. You know, Olympic-sized pools are big, but still, the course of all of history, and surprisingly little, don't you think? The rarity is what drives its value. Wait, you're trying to tell me? If something isn't very frequent, it's more rare and valuable. Man, we're learning so much in school. All right. I don't really give this teacher in particular such a hard time. And incidentally, they say that 60% of the world's gold is in Japan. What was your first thought the Tokugawa clan's buried treasure? It's actually discarded home electronics. In other words, a junkyard is more valuable than someone else's heart. What did you say? 
someone can't have a heart of gold, and I can't measure the value of a treasure with money? Yeah, it doesn't really work that way. And besides, I'm not really doing this to, like, fatten our wallets. Man, the detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then! If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with! Ow! You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. It'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? We said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those Phantom Thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They've gotta be more dependable than... some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, alright? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah! It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of Akechi. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh. I decided to leave the school dorms. We were not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, Aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? 
Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe is only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Yeah! <laughs> what a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. I can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello! A girl, too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This round will be on the house. You're helping, though. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, give me a taste. and unusual punishment. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. It's only an attic. Oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're, uh... An. An Takamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have, either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee! Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What?! Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? I've been looking. There hasn't been anything good out there lately, though. Plus, it's not like anyone ever talks about the big targets on there. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. 
And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something! Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great! I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? Okay, hot pot it is! Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. You know what? We've been focusing really hard on our goals and, you know, making the Phantom Thieves more popular. Let's take some time off, man. We deserve it. That catch guy seems pretty influential. Someday we'll make him eat those words, though. But let's forget I have him for now and just focus on having fun. Come on, we need to prepare. Yeah, speaking of eating words, I don't know about you, I want to eat some god dang hot pot. And our next mission is actually to find a pot to cook in. So, uh, so do you have one just lying around? I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. Uh, yeah, we are. You want to join in? I mean, should be enough to go around. Morgana can only eat so much. Do you know how busy I am? You guys are fun. Her name's On, right? She's a nice girl. <laughs> yeah. She sure is. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. I asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask. Since you're already freeloading. <laughs> Yeah, I get what you mean. Anyway, there's a big pot somewhere around here. All right, sweet. So, <laughs> so I mean, Yusuke is gonna be our like roommate. Yo, that could be kind of cool and also kind of bad. But yeah, we're about that later. It's cabinet, kitchen supplies. Yeah, this is like real. I don't know about you. Every time I go to cook, I can never find the exact pot or pan I need. It takes me like a minute every time. But found an old earthware vessel. Should be big enough. Oh, uh, you found it. Yeah, no thanks to you. You could have helped, man. You work here, and it's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip, so I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a bit, though. Just be careful with the fire, okay? Don't worry, Sojiro. I'm not going to burn down your cafe. Because, I mean, if I did that, I wouldn't have anywhere to sleep, right? And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman, yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. 
Sorry. <sighs> now. Yes. Mm hmm. It's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there, out there helping, helping people, people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? And it'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? Alright, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <laughs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh... She apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money! Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But... I just did as I was told! Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. Just 
listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. Hm. We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating Mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. <laughs> that sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now is a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now, but what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. Aw, oh, that's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? 
doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with Ahn. No, oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. I'm more like the Charge Commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. Hmm... hmm. Still... Ah, it's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. Man, nothing beats a group dinner with our fellow Phantom Thieves than a group bath. I I can't relate, but hey, Yusuke is going to be a roommate for a bit. Did something happen? That'll be cool, and aren't you going to sleep yet? I'll be fine here. I sleep in my studio on occasion, so this is luxurious in comparison. Oh, well, uh, make yourself a home, have some chocolate if you like from the fountain. Kind of curious how Morgana feels about another dude in the... Like, attic. I'm gonna protect my sleeping beauty, no matter what it takes. <sighs> Morgana, baby, don't... I'm wide awake. I don't need protecting. Uh, I'm not talking about you! Wait, don't eavesdrop on me. <laughs> Sorry, man. Can't help myself, but... Man, this is kind of cool. This is like our first, like, big, just, you know, group hangout as Phantom Thieves. Honestly, the camaraderie between these guys is... Pretty strong. It feels like really genuine. Like, we're not just like working together to like, you know, take down cruddy adults because, I mean, that is our primary goal, but it's pretty believable that these guys would be like friends in real life because their relationship is so believable because they all have like such a similar life, just like On said, you know? We're all kind of like children of circumstances in a way, but anyways, enough of me ranting on about how great our team is. They are pretty great. That's all the time I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you next time. We're going to try and find a new target. So see you guys then. Bye.